What's going on everybody? King Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel DC Comics Multiverse The Flash TV series Earth 2 Flash from the Collect and Connect King Shark Wave. Here we do have Earth 2 Flash in the packaging. You can see he does come with a few lightning accessories, his helmet and an alternate set of hands, as well as the King Shark Builder figure piece right here on the side. We do get a little bio as well as an image of the Flash right here. Mysterious speedster from Earth 2 claiming to be our hero, but is he really who he claims to be? Other figures of this line do include the Flash, Zoom, Jim Gordon, Batman, Batgirl, Hawkman, and the Joker. All six figures do give us the Collect and Connect King Shark figure, which I am really looking forward to. Hopefully we can get them all assembled. So what we're going to do now is take a little break, get them opened up, and then we'll go on to the rest of his review. So sit tight, everyone. So here we have Earth 2 Flash posing out of the packaging. Before we go on to the figure, let's actually show off his Build-A-Figure piece. He does come with the right arm of King Shark, and I am really looking forward to finishing King Shark. Little by little, I'm swallowing my pride picking up the DC Multiverse figures, but you can see King Shark is just going to be a really massive figure. Cannot wait to get them all done. But anyway, here we do have Earth 2 Flash out of the packaging, and he does come with a few accessories. Let's get the big one out of the way, his little hat here. Now, as we saw on the TV show, this isn't really Jay Garrick. It's actually just Hunter Zolomon pretending to be Jay Garrick to get closer with Team Flash. The hat does sit on his head pretty well, although it doesn't sit perfectly. It is a little big, so it doesn't... You can see there's still a lot of movement there, and you, it really doesn't sit all too tight. I mean, you can flip them around, but putting too much force on this will cause it to pop off. So it's really nice that they do include this. This does make me wonder if maybe they're going to make the actual Jay Garrick, and maybe they're going to exclude the helmet, and it's going to be interchangeable between the two. I don't know, I wouldn't put it past Mattel to do that because it sounds like something they would do. But he does come with a little ha with a hat of mercury right there. He also does come with an interchangeable set of hands besides the fist hands he has. Right now he does come with a set of running hands. So we can just zoom in really fast. You can see it also has some designs on the glove. Forgot to show off the hat of mercury. The helmet of Mercury here, you can see it does have some nice sculpted details in the wings. And the hands are easy to pop off. You just pull them off and attach the running hand. And now you can have them posed in all sorts of running poses. So that's pretty cool. It's a good thing that we finally got running pose hands for a Mattel Flash. Because we really haven't gotten that before. So I do like that. His final accessory are these two lightning attachments. Now, if you've been collecting the any of Mattel's DC figures, you'll know that these are just a reissue from the Superman Red and Superman Blue, but they actually do work for Flash here. You can actually just clip them onto his wrist like that. And now we do get the illusion that there's electricity or lightning running through his hands. So that's pretty cool. Other than that, he doesn't come with any other accessories, and I'm going to leave his helmet off for the rest of the review because it's just going to be a hassle to keep on. Now, it is a tough pill for me to swallow buying these multiverse figures. I only really wanted Joker and King Shark, so the fact that I'm now buying these guys for King Shark shows you how much I don't want to pay secondhand market for a King Shark. But let's go on to Flash's details right now. As far as likeness to Teddy Sears go, Teddy Sears being the actor who played Zoom, uh, it doesn't look anything like him, honestly. The likeness is not there. And actually, I don't know if you can tell, but there's already been some paint wear on his head just from taking on and off the helmet, which is a little bit unfortunate. There doesn't seem to be any paint in there, but you can see there's paint rub already on the figure, and that's a no. That's not really good. As far as the costume goes, it is a dark red, which 
we did see in the show, so I'm glad they did include that. The lightning bolt is gold, and they did paint the buttons really well. The gloves are also nicely painted, and then he does have sculpted pants. Then this dark blue, and then we go down to his dark red boots. I don't know why they always have to make the costume super dark. I don't, I don't get it. Like, it's been that way since Smallville, so it's just a reoccurring thing. But anyway, let's actually get Flash here posed next to Earth-1 Flash so you can get an idea of the figures next to each other. And here we have Earth-2 Flash with Earth-1 Flash, and the scale is pretty good here. I'm surprised I actually still have the multiverse Earth Flash on the TV show. I do like that they, he does have added articulation, but he still suffers from that really long torso that we've seen with Lex Luthor and other suited bodies where he had this really long pelvis, he has this really long torso. I don't know why Mattel is struggling so much making a decent sized torso. It's either too small or too big. It's, it's mind-boggling how they could go from the DC Universe Classics figures to this. I, I honestly don't know anymore, but anyway Moving on to Flash's articulation here, he does have a ball joint in the head, if I can just pop his head off. It is a ball joint, but you can see it has no hinge, so the only movement you're going to really get on his head is left and right movement. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Arms on a ball joint go out, they do a full 360. He bends at the elbow, as well as spins at the elbow. He spins at the wrist. He does have a hinge joint, which goes back about that far and forward about that far. So that's actually pretty good range of movement. He does swivel at the waist. Legs go forward up to about there, not ideal for running poses. Go back, I guess that's acceptable. And then legs go out to about that far, although this does look ridiculous. Mattel really needs to rework the way these joints work. He has a thigh swivel, or a swivel right above the knee, single hinge knee and a hinged ankle, and might I add that his feet are relatively small compared to his hands. You can see his hand is roughly half the size of his foot, so I don't know, there's just something about his legs that make him look a little stumpy. But anyway, that's Earth 2 Flash for you. What we're going to do now is take a little break and pose for my final thoughts, then we'll wrap up this review, so sit tight everyone. So here we have Earth 2 Flash pose for my final thoughts. Overall, I honestly cannot recommend buying this figure. The only reason you would want to pick this figure up is if you're collecting King Shark. And that's probably the only reason you'd want to pick this figure up because as it stands, this figure is a complete dud. There's probably no redeeming qualities to him other than the fact he does come with cool lightning accessories and I really do like the helmet but as far as the figure itself goes I don't know it's like Mattel took two steps forward with their bill of figure and eight steps back for their standalone figures because this figure is atrocious I'm it's a really big shame that Mattel has fallen this far from giving us really good figures because you've seen how Marvel Legends has up their game since their, since the Marvel Legends returns and seeing as how Mattel is just putting out figures to put out DC figures it's kind of a letdown because we get crappy figures like this and there's no other way to put it this flash is not that great thankfully I picked mine up at, on sale he was $14 at Toys R Us which that's I'm okay paying that price because this thing alone is about $25 secondhand market, so I guess if you consider that you're buying King Shark with a figure accessory, then I guess it's okay, but as it stands, I really can't recommend picking up this figure. I mean, there's just not enough to him to really warrant the pickup, and unless you're a diehard Flash fan, you're not going to want to have this guy in your collection. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000 saying I don't recommend this Flash unless you're a fan of the TV series or you really need to pick up King Shark like me. I had to swallow my pride and pick up all the figures now. 
So if you can avoid this guy and find the King Shark's piece at a good price, do that. But as it stands, I don't recommend picking up this flash. He looks okay, but his proportions are off, and it's really... Ah, oh, there's so many things that could have made this figure better, but Mattel just does not listen. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was informative for you guys. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Check out all my other DC figure reviews. Hopefully you enjoy those. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. And if I can find room for it in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone. My